Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the future. My name is Chris Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI startups and the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note at Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, somebody has described the show as Mind Snacks, Brain Snacks. I like the name. Maybe I should change the name of the podcast to Brain Snacks. Or you can get more Brain Snacks on AIDaily.us. You're probably wondering what AIDaily.us, AIDaily.us is hand curated by news. AI, breaking news in AI by my team, hand curated and read by AI. That's right, folks. We leverage AI to create stuff. Isn't that cool? Just go to AIDaily.us and subscribe. And there's also a podcast. So check it out. Go to any of your favorite podcast service and search for AIDaily.us and you'll find us top breaking news in AI every workday. So, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. So, this kind of warms my heart a little bit. Warms my heart. Because I've heard so many negative tales about nuclear power. Now, the thing is, the reality is, and I talked about this a long, long time ago, is that the biggest problem we have, the absolute biggest problem we have is actually kind of boring. It's energy. It's power. A lot of times, we do the things we do, and we are the way we are, and we act the way we are, is because of lack of resources, lack of energy specifically. And if there was some way we could figure out how to have more resources, more energy, then we'd be able to solve all sorts of problems. I mean, think about... EVs and their eventual extended lifespan where all of those batteries and all that lithium ion gets thrown into landfills. These things are temporary. I mean, they might be good for the environment in short term, but in the long term, we still have problems figuring out clean energy. So if you ask me, almost the biggest problem that we have is figuring out the power thing. Because if we could have near unlimited power or unlimited or near unlimited power then we would be able to do so many things that we can't do and one of the things that really bothered me was the fact that a lot of countries and states are turning against nuclear power and if you ask me nuclear power and i mean i i interviewed someone in the energy sector a while back and he said no 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 the thing is is that we won't want to do everything but there's a lot of negative press against nuclear power so I read the other day that one of the problems that we have with AI is energy consumption. That the fact is, is that the amount of energy that AI consumes is unbelievable. I mean, there was an article about how, how much water and how much power AI consumes. So all those of you sitting out there on ChatGPT typing in your little queries enormous amounts of energy are being used to generate those little queries. It's kind of a bit like crypto, right? If you think about crypto, you need an enormous amount of electricity and energy to mine this crypto to end up with a little bit of crypto, which is worth hardly anything. So if you think about it, AI is a little bit that way. We have energy. Does we, AI requires tons of energy. Tons of energy. And I read the other day that Microsoft is actually considering going back to nuclear in order to feed AI energy needs. And it made me think, absolutely, why not? I'm sure that we've been able to refine. I mean, nuclear power has been around forever. And there were times in the past when we talked about nuclear powered cars. I mean, maybe we can get nuclear reactors down to the size of, of a car engine and put it in an automobile and have a car that will run for 300 years without any additional fuel. Wouldn't that be amazing? So if you ask me, this is the kind of stuff we need to be looking at. We need to be looking at everything. We need to say and actually <laughs> do 
everything is on the table when it comes to energy because AI is such an important part of our lives or is becoming such an important part of our lives and we need the energy to be able to power this important part of our lives. So let's bring every conceivable way of generating energy back into the table. So seeing nuclear power back on the table, back in the queue, if you ask me, is only a good thing. Because we need the energy. We still haven't cracked the unlimited power thing. We still have issues with power. And if we can crack that, then almost everything will flow, will flow from that. So if you're a startup founder and you're thinking about something big, something massive that will change the human race forever, think about power and what we can do about generating more. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Mm -hmm.